Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President Ilham Aliyev congratulated the Orthodox Christian community of Azerbaijan on the occasion of Easter. The message reads, Dear fellow compatriots, I sincerely congratulate you on the occasion of the Holy Easter and convey my heartfelt wishes to you. Representatives of various ethnic groups and faiths live in peace, calm, mutual respect and trust in Azerbaijan, which is the homeland for everyone who has settled and lived here for hundreds of years. The protection of interesting friendship and interreligious harmony in our country, the promotion of coexistence cultures and democratic social and moral values, the promotion of inter-civilization dialogue on a global scale are among the main directions of our state policy based on progressive national and historical traditions. Extensive opportunities have been created for all ethnic and religious minorities, including the Christian community, to properly benefit from their national and spiritual values, to cherish their traditions, language and culture in the modern Republic of Azerbaijan, which is known as one of the addresses of multiculturalism in the world. It is commendable that our citizens of the Orthodox faith, who live in such a democratic and tolerant environment, are closely involved in all areas of our public and political life, together with members of other confessions, making worthy contributions to the comprehensive development of our independent state. Dear fellow compatriots, Easter is a symbol of revival, renewal, feelings of mercy and compassion. I once again wish happiness to each one of you, happy holidays and prosperity to your families on the occasion of this dear day. Happy holiday, Ilham Aliyev, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Baku, 14th of April, 2023. A new stage is beginning in the relations between Azerbaijan and Bosnia and Herzegovina. The meetings held during the course of the official visit of President Ilham Aliyev to this country, the documents signed, including the Joint Declaration on Strategic Partnership, will raise the relations between Baku and Sarajevo to a qualitatively new level. Azerbaijan, which successfully forged multifaceted international ties, quickly expands the geography of cooperation and partnership. Their relation with Balkan countries claim an important place in Azerbaijan's foreign policy. The Balkan countries are interested in joining the mega projects realized by our country, which play an important role in the energy security of Europe. The measures taken in this direction in recent years serve as a testimony to that. The length of the southern gas corridor initiated by Azerbaijan is 3,500 kilometers. For little more than two years, this pipeline has been transporting our natural gas to Europe. This pipeline passes by the borders of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It would be good if we start cooperating in this field of natural gas. Appropriate instructions have already been given. The political dialogue between Azerbaijan and Bosnia and Herzegovina always remains at the high level. Official Sarajevo is always represented at the highest level at a big international events held on the initiative of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan is a very important country for us. Today, we declare that we are friendly countries to each other. We support each other in the international arena. At the same time, our bilateral relations will rise to a higher level. Baku and Sarajevo cooperate on the international organizations to supporting each other's fair position. Two and a half years ago, when Azerbaijan restored its territorial integrity in the Second Karabakh War, Bosnia and Herzegovina firmly supported Azerbaijan in our rightful cause. This is a position of friendship and brotherhood. The help extended by Azerbaijan when Bosnia and Herzegovina faced difficulties following the flood in 2014 and also during the pandemic is kindly remembered in Bosnia and Herzegovina. During all this time, Azerbaijan implemented important and necessary infrastructure projects in several our cities. A medical center was established in Banja Luka, a friendship park was built in Sarajevo. At the same time, a medical institution was established in Sarajevo. Azerbaijan has always been our side whenever there were difficulties in our country. The Declaration on Strategic Partnership signed during President Ilham Aliyev's visit to Bosnia and Herzegovina will not only increase on a daily basis the number of European countries supporting Azerbaijan, but will also solidify the good image of our country among the world states. Yeah. 
British ambassador to Azerbaijan, Fergus Old, commented on the violence against our soldier captured in Armenia. Terrible to see video footage of violence against an Azerbaijani soldier in Armenia. Such an act is unacceptable in accordance with international humanitarian law, the ambassador wrote on his Twitter page. The U.S. Embassy in Azerbaijan reacted too. Sharing a post in its social network account, the embassy said it was disturbed by a video appearing to depict violence against an Azerbaijani soldier in Armenia. It should be noted that a few days ago, Akshin Babirov and Hussein Akhundov, missing soldiers of the Azerbaijani army who lost their way due to limited visibility in adverse weather conditions, were captured by Armenia. In a video circulated on social networks, cases of physical torture and inhumane treatment against the captured Hussein Akhundov were demonstrated. Human rights protection organizations and NGOs called on the international organizations regarding the detention of two servicemen of the Azerbaijani armed forces who were tortured in Armenia. The world community was called not to remain indifferent against the inhumane and brutal treatment against Azerbaijani soldiers. It was noted that this kind of treatment of prisoners and hostages by Armenia is not the first such incident. During the First Karabakh War, 3,890 people were captured and taken hostage. The other side has not yet provided any information about the fate of these persons. In the statement, it was emphasized that the Armenian side grossly violated norms and principles of international law and the Geneva Convention, and the importance of preventing this action and taking urgent measures was emphasized. As a result of the investigation, it was revealed that the mine explosion that resulted in the injury of one person in Sus village of Lachin district happened in an abandoned residential area at the entrance of the residential house. In the post-war period, 142 of our 290 citizens who were injured by mine explosions died or suffered varying degrees of physical injuries that occurred in such areas. Taking these facts into account, Anama once again appeals to our residents to utilize only safe route lines to take appropriate action where demining operations are being carried out, to be careful and to behave responsibly. Eco activists and NGO representatives continue their rally on the Lachin Khankindu Road passing through Shusha against the illegal exploitation of mineral deposits in Karabakh. Today is the 124th day of the rally. The road was open for the inhabited movement of the vehicles of ICRC and the Russian peacekeeping contingent. You can get in touch with us by contacting us at the hotline number 051-511-1956, through which you can report events you come across of, as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.